thought the Christmas show went off without a hitch and I'm very happy about that because it's a very stressful day and a lot of preparation. We've been thinking about it for months and it came down to the wire basically once we loaded into the venue and had to set everything up and everything had to be perfect and run smooth and it did. So I'm super grateful. And I made sure that I took some time out while we were playing to enjoy it. You know, be in the middle of the set and I just kind of take myself out of the show for a minute and just kind of sit back and realize what we were doing. And I'm just glad. I think uh, everybody in the band, you know, worked hard to make sure that it was a perfect day. And it was. So I'm really proud of it. The Christmas show was uh, a great success, as Borat would say. Um, the turnout was great, the crowd was great, the set was great. Uh, it was a lot of hard work, you know, a lot of guys going out of their minds trying to get everything situated, but it all came together really nicely in the end. Influence of Destruction is one of my favorite Chimera songs, and um, Six, which is technically not an instrumental, but I, I think the instrumental middle is probably my favorite Chimera musical moment of anything in our catalog for me, for me personally. Christmas show went great. Um, all my fears and inhibitions and everything like that went out the window. The crowd was fantastic, more than I could have ever hoped for. Uh, the set list was great, the video stuff worked great, all the filming seemed to have gone great, the recording went great, all the families and friends had a good time, so many good compliments about the whole thing. Meet and greet was cool. The pizza Jim's brother brought down was great. Uh, everything was real cool, man. I had such a good time. Uh, exactly what I wanted to happen. I let I let go of uh, of all the I don't know the nervousness I had or whatever about it, and just was able to enjoy myself and uh, it worked out great. The sound was great. No equipment problems. Monitors were good. All the things that I've always talked about for the stars aligning actually did. It was killer. Uh, one of my favorite shows, and really just a, a nice way to. Uh, Close out 10 years of Chimera Christmases, you know, and uh, the 11th will be a new chapter, and uh, I'm real, real happy and proud of, uh, of the way everything turned out. It was really cool.
940. I think I remember doing a toast with the band and uh, feeling good. What? Shot? Shot? Yeah. Who else is in here? Anybody? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, that, that towel that taping me. down a towel? Yeah, Denny used to do it. Yeah, yeah, that was that was wonderful. Fucking, uh, vomited we, Snickers bar. Can we do that and again? We gave it to Jim. Yeah. And Jim had to wipe his face with it. Uh, <laughs> whiskey? Uh, whiskey? No, it's uh, red bomb. Um, hey, the Cheers. fucking uh, a decade of aggression. Like, like, decade, a decade of fucking aggression, dehumanizing. Yeah. <laughs> decade of dehumanizing. Process. Decade of dehumanizing. Decade of dehumanization. Later. Put some hair in peaches with that shit. Peaches. Mm. Peaches. <laughs> Harry Peach. You know, after warming up and everything, I felt like I was going to be on. Some nights I'll warm up, I'm like, oh no, it's going to take me a few songs to get my voice where I want it to be. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then just kind of chilled out and I like to listen to some hip hop music and just kind of get as far away from the show as possible to be as relaxed as possible. So I just put on some rap and kind of just go off to another world. And um, so I don't like to psych myself out. I feel like the times I psych myself out, I tense up too much and I don't have a good show. I'll push too hard and kind of tear my voice up a little too much and um, I prefer to be relaxed, completely relaxed. We're way, way beyond those days of like trying to get that, that pre-show, let's all get pissed in a real dark place, you know, like, you know, screw that, we're having fun, you know, we're all median age of 30, you know, we're not like, you know, 19 year old angst ridden youth anymore. Uh, I think we're all comfortable in our skin and uh, it's supposed to be fun, so let's have fun doing it. Come on, let me warm up. Oh, Come on, yeah. one more time. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. I haven't been this nervous in so long. You might, Jim. I'm more nervous now than download. I'm getting a little only because of the technical shit. Otherwise, I wouldn't go fuck. It'll be cool. I don't even know if it works. Find out when we get up there. <laughs> well, the set list. The first six songs we had been playing since the summer, like on the tours with Hatebreed and uh, the headlining tour in Europe. So we knew that that felt really good and that that worked and Cleveland hadn't heard it yet. So a great bonus about all of that is we were able to play it for six months that way and just be perfectionists at it, you know? So that kind of made it easy because we had to narrow it down and we wanted to get the best from each album, you know, video songs or songs that really translated live over the years, songs that fans constantly ask for us to play that we never get a chance to. Um, we just took all of those things into consideration. I'd go on message boards, read our Facebook, Twitter. It's gonna make an hour and a half feel, you know, like 10 minutes. So that takes a long time, you know. That was months working on that set list. Months playing it and playing different songs. And, and I mean, this whole year has basically been building up to this moment. For the first time in a long time, we got such a loud Kamira chant that it reminded me of uh, going to see Slayer when I was a kid. Because as soon as the lights go down, there was just a huge roar of, of the crowd. And then the chant started instantly. And that's what happened. It was the loudest chant. Like, we've gotten chants before, and, and that's awesome, but it was so loud. It gives you huge goosebumps. It like, makes you uh, just so amped. It's insane. That was, that was real cool. I think that's what I remember the most about it.
I hope you're recording this, dude. I hope everything works, Tad. It better, because we'll do it all over again. First song during the Venom side when it came out and just saw the crowd and, and their their enthusiasm was awesome and that fueled me for the rest of the show. And it just moves so fast that I'm so grateful to have photos and video footage and everything to look back on it because it was like to me, I could see it in the blink of an eye right now, how fast it went, without a doubt. You know, just just the anticipation and the excitement amongst people for waiting for the lights to drop and uh, for the intro to start and everything. And then when we hit the stage, it was this roar like that I've never heard before. And this, uh, this feeling came over me that I'd never felt before. Like, uh, it goes without saying that uh, it was an epic moment for us and uh, truly a great accomplishment. What is your favorite song, do you think, in the set to play? Hmm. Oh, hey, buddy. Um, my favorite song in the set to play... What's your favorite song, Guinea? Do you have a favorite Kamir song that we play? Oh, actually, I love when the guys play Sever because that song's fucking brutal. It's brutal. Whenever it starts, I'm like, Sever! Dun 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 dun, Sever! Dun 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 dun. <laughs>